Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to part 13 of our Raspberry Pi 3 video series. And in this video, we're talking about Raspberry Pi 3 as a WordPress server. So we are going to turn our Raspberry Pi 3 into a WordPress server and this is the 2017's latest version, meaning we're going to install some of the softwares and prerequisite software used in Raspberry Pi 3 to turn it into a WordPress server based on the latest changes. So let's get started. Running WordPress into a Raspberry Pi 3. We all know WordPress is one of the well-known content management system out there in market and even exit automation is running at the top of WordPress framework. It'll be very awesome if you run a WordPress server on the Raspberry Pi and use it for development purpose because if you install a lamp in your machine, you can actually see that there will be so many nightmares like there will be some changes in your machine or you don't really have to run all these daemon services like PHP or MySQL or something like that in your Windows machine for developing all those things. If you put everything on a device like Raspberry Pi 3 which is going to be running all the day 24 bar 7, 365 days a year, it is actually really really cool that you can work with your application as more like your application or a website is running on a hosting server. So basically you can use the Raspberry Pi 3 as one of the proxy web server which is running and you can use it for development purpose and once the changes of the website has been made you can push the changes back to your hosting server so that it is much easier and faster. So we're going to do exactly the same thing this time. We are going to use our Raspberry Pi 3 as one of the proxy server or maybe like a secondary server for development purpose and then we can push all those changes back to our hosting server but i'm not going to show you how we're going to post or push the changes to the hosting server rather we are limited to make our raspberry pi 3 as a wordpress web server so what are the prerequisite software that are required for installing wordpress into raspberry pi 3 basically we first require a apache web server so this is the one which is responsible for running your wordpress and then we need to have a php 7 which is the server side programming for wordpress and wordpress is built on the top of php 7 language so we need php 7 as well and then we need require a mysql which is the backend of the wordpress so all the posts that you create all the mages and all those changes that you can make is going to sit on the MySQL database. So MySQL is very, very important to be available as well. And finally, WordPress framework itself. We need to download the WordPress framework from their website using wget and then we need to unzip it and we're going to put that into the www folder so that we can make use of it. So these are the four most important prerequisites that we need to have before making our Raspberry Pi 3 into a WordPress web server. All right, so let's get started and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to first flip to our PuTTY. So I'm going to open the PuTTY right now. So PuTTY is the application which is going to be used for connecting to our Raspberry Pi 3. As you already know, in our previous videos, we discussed about it. So I'm going to log in as a user uh, this time as Karthik. And then I'm going to show you how to work with it. Oops, I entered the password wrongly. There we go. And now that I have my uh, PHP MySQL is already installed in my machine. So if you don't believe me, it is available. It is already available. If I try to install it, you'll understand how things are. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you like how we can do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the Apache. So for installing the Apache, you need to do this sudo apt-get install apache2 y. And if you do that, it's going to ask you for the password, just enter it. And you can see that it is already available in my machine. So I have already installed the Apache as I already said. And then we need to install the MySQL server. So I'm going to do that as well. And you can see that the MySQL server is also available in my machine already. So I don't really have to install that. But this is the command. You have to use the sudo apt-get install mysql server y for installing mysql server. And then we need to install the WordPress. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to create the folder such as var, www, and html. And you can see that I actually have a www folder already. So you can just go over here, var, uh, maybe I can do this, cd, cd var, and cd slash var, yep. And then cd slash www, let me do an ls. Yep, we have a www, so cd www, and then I have to create an HTML folder in here. So I'm going to just do this, mkdar HTML, 
to create the folder and if I do an ls once again here and we have an HTML folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the WordPress into this particular folder. So I'm going to quickly do this and you can see that it is downloading the WordPress from the wordpress.org and there's the latest .tar.gz. So it has downloaded that and we need to unzip this particular files which is available in the WordPress into the WordPress folder and then we can start installing it. So for doing all these things, these are the commands. So first it's sudo tar xzf of the latest tar.gz and then we're going to move the files into the WordPress folder and then we're going to remove the WordPress latest tar.gz that we downloaded and then I'm going to give the permission of the www folder as a sudo. There we go. So this is the read permission that I have given. Now everything is all set. Now we are going to create the database which is going to be used by our WordPress. So I'm going to clear the screen because there are so many clutters here. So I'm going to next create the database for our WordPress. So if you go to the MySQL admin and if you hit enter, you can see there are so many commands being coming in for this particular uh, MySQL admin. And now I should go to the MySQL database uh, by using what is called as a command like MySQL hyphen U for the username and hyphen P for the password. So I can just type this and if I connect uh, here, you can see that this is going to take me to the MySQL service of, uh, of the Raspberry Pi which is running right now. And now I can create the database and then I can drop database and, and I can do a whole lot of things here. So basically I'm going to do this. I'm going to create a uh, database and I'm going to call this as uh, WordPress. I'm going to hit enter. Maybe. Yep. So you can see that it has created the database right now for me. Uh, and this is what is going to be used by our WordPress as a backend. Right. So I'm going to come out of this particular uh, MySQL right now. Let's restart the Apache server uh, so that we can uh, ensure that everything is fine. So I'm going to do that as well. All right, I guess it is going to restart. And now let's try to access a Raspberry Pi and see if we get the installation page. So everything is pretty much done right now. So I'm going to open the Chrome browser and I know what is the uh, IP address of my uh, machine. So this is the IP address 162. Uh, so you can see there is something coming in uh, like Apache uh, and it is actually connecting in here and uh, I think we should go to the WordPress okay I guess it's because of some catching uh, let me again try to access it yep you can see that we are now welcomed into the installation page so let's call this as uh, execute automation and I'm going to give the username here and let's give the uh, admin123 as the password and I'm going to confirm the weak password here and uh, let me give my uh, email ID and then I'm going to install the WordPress. So now you can see that the installation is going to happen. It's like pretty much what you do in a normal WordPress installation. Pretty fast and uh, I'm going to log in again and log in. You can see that it's going to take us to the dashboard of the WordPress and you can see that we are actually accessing everything from our Raspberry Pi this time like what we do in our hosting websites and let's me, let me create a post here uh, first post from uh, Raspberry uh, Pi 3 and uh, let me add a media you can see this is much faster like this and I'm going to install all right publish so fast it is and now if I try to access this you can see that we can see our post pretty much like what we do in our hosting website so much faster much easier and this is how you can install WordPress in your Raspberry Pi in much easier and much effortless way so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day